Just about set for football. Blake Groupie is ready to get us started. And here we go. We're underway in Madden Ultimate Team. And he'll get it up past the 20 to about the 22. So here are the Cowboys now ready to go on offense for the first time. They'll be led out by their electrifying signal caller, the former Virginia Tech Hokie, Michael Vick. Every quarterback in the NFL has a little bit of his own signature style out there, but for this guy, he really plays the game in a different way. It's led to a couple double takes from us up here as we see him as something truly unique. It's not that he's just the strongest passer or the best athlete to ever play the position. He just has a certain way of seeing the action and allows him to make some special plays out there. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. Here we go, Jack. Throwing, Vic. He has it complete to Christian Watson. Loose inside the 30, and down to the 19-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. 57 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, if only they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. Touchdown, Cowboys! Zay Flowers from 19 yards away. And the Cowboys march right down the field in three plays to claim the early advantage. McManus's point after is good, and it's now a 7-0 game. So they only needed three plays on that drive, and it's capped off for the Cowboys' touchdown. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line, and he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. So now here are the Dolphins getting set for their first drive. Bringing them out as the 1983 Rookie of the Year, the 84 MVP, under center, Dan Marino. They start to drive on the ground. It's Williams. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. But you often say that sort of opens the playbook now, second and short. What do you think, early shot here? I like where you're going. Obviously, we've been together for a while, because you know me. I want to take that shot early and loosen things up. And he'll get it up near the 35, right at the 34 here. That one, a first down pickup of eight. That's a nice run right there, able to get to the outside. And so many times, defenses say, okay, we got you hemmed in. But if you're running the football, at least you know where everyone is coming from. You don't have to worry about the backside at all. That allows you to run with a little bit more confidence as you traverse down the field. They'll throw on first down with Marino. Open man, it's the longtime Dolphin Mark Clayton. And he'll go out near midfield at the 49. It'll be a pickup of 16 and a Dolphin first down. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. They'll run it with Williams. And he's got this one across midfield into Cowboy territory. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent gain. Second down and four. Up the middle, it's Williams. And this won't be enough to pick up the first. A gain of two, third and one. What an advantage having a elite guy in the middle of the defensive line because not only does he take up the space and let the linebackers run free, but he can also make plays himself, as we just saw there. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Three yards there, good enough to keep the drive moving. Now 
after 1-7-0 on EA Sports. Second quarter from Miami. It's the Dolphins with the football. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. As they've got it as we resume action. They'll hand it off now. Williams. And that one opened up for him well as he'll take this down to the 26-yard line. 41 yards rushing so far. And this is just their first possession. And they've got a new set of downs here. Well, they're getting ready to go to work now. Prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. They go play action now. Marino. Complete. Smith has it. And he'll be out of bounds as he gets this down about the 21 or 22. From the 21, here's the second down and six. Now Williams. Trucks over it. And he's going to have a gain of 11 to the 11 before he's brought down. First and 10. The Miami first down. That one going for a gain of 11. Two minutes on the clock, second quarter, 7-0 ball game. Now a first and 10 at the 11. They'll keep it on the ground. Williams, and he'll be brought down right on the edge of the goal line at about the one-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards, and it'll be second and very short. Here's a give up the middle, and that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. He'll wind up losing three, and now it's third down. Now a tenth carry. Here's Williams, and he'll be tackled about two yards shy of the line to gain. A one-yard pickup leads to fourth down. Here's Marino, and that is incomplete, but a penalty flag coming in. This could be a first down. So they get the flag for pass interference. Big call there on fourth down. But it's the right call, and as much as I want to see them play through incidental contact, he's definitely there too early. Williams will take this in for the Dolphin touchdown. So the previous pass interference call put the ball at the one-yard line and then they stick it in on the very next play. And I love the play call right there. After you get the pass interference call, you've got a defense that's discombobulated a little bit, right? They are there protesting the call, upset about what happened. Go right at them. Run the football. And the defense acquiesces, and the ball ends up in the end zone. Mike McDaniel, no hesitation on his end. He's telling his offense to go for two. They'll look to throw, and it's caught. He's got it. So they go for two. They convert, and along with it, they'll take an 8-7 lead. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. Taken at the goal line. And he's only going to make it to the 13-yard line and no further. Second drive forthcoming here for the Dallas Cowboys. There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. Vince throw taken in by Sutton. The Cowboys looking to get going again in a hurry. Vic on second down. Throw left side complete. That's Flowers. 
And he is out of bounds right around the 34. 14 yards, good for a Cowboy first down. Here's Michael Vick. He completes this to Sutton. They'll wind up getting seven on the play. And it's second down. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Vick now. Throwing the out route incomplete. It's Flowers. And he's able to get this one out closer to midfield across the 45. Seven yards there and a first down. Again, it's Vic. He's across midfield, and he'll take this down to the 40-yard line. The Cowboys going to use their second timeout now as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. Throw left side complete to Sharp. And he takes it into the end zone across the chalk. Now there is a flag down. But I think that's offsides on the defense. Yeah, I think that's going to stand, partner. Offside, defense. So obviously they will decline the penalty, the penalty there, declined. and the result is six points. McManus now for the extra point. And it's up and good to make this now a 14-8 ball game. That time, a six-play drive, and it culminates in a Dallas touchdown. And he returns this to the 22. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And only six seconds on the clock, so time likely for just one play. Marino will look to throw on first. Oh, and that is incomplete. One of the great coaches said football is a really simple game. Rush theirs, protect yours. And he's talking about those guys throwing the football. In this situation, the rush won, hitting the quarterback and forcing him into an incompletion. Final play of the half, it's Marino. He's gonna loft one, deep left side here. And incomplete on the deep ball. So two quarters down, two remain. Charles and I return after the break. All right, Brandon, back to you two in just a bit. But first, welcome everyone to downtown Orlando and our EA Sports Halftime Report. We were certainly treated to an entertaining first half. Both these teams with some high points and maybe a couple of low points as well. So it's going to be a question of who can be Welcome the most back. disciplined Charles team and I going into forth. Booth ready for quarter number three. The Dolphins down on the scoreboard, but they'll have it first as we get going in this third quarter. Taking it about the one. And he won't get this to the 20 yard line as he's down at the 19. The Dolphins getting set to go back to work here in quarter number three. Well, Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. The has been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. The more football I watch, the more I want to check and see if teams are going to panic when they're down on the scoreboard. And this team has shown no signs of doing that. A lot of the time, they come out after the half. Things haven't worked so well in the first go-around. They want to throw the football like crazy. But the way to open up throwing the ball is to run it. And they have run it well here to start the second half. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. So after the loss of a yard, they'll look to push forward here on second down and 11. They run it again with Williams. And he'll be taken down at the 46-yard line. 89 yards rushing for him now in the ball game. Here's third and a few inches. Now a handoff. Here's Williams. 
And brought down, but not before he was able to break the tackle, and the extra effort moves the sticks. Well, someone's been having a good game so far, and you know something? A lot has been power running. They decided to turn him loose again on third down, didn't they? They did indeed. He delivered the tough yards. They'll run on first down. Williams. A beautiful play. He's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And they'll have it in the red zone before it crosses over out of bounds. That one good for 33 in the first. This has been a good drive so far. It's been the running game for the most part that's powered them down there. Another nice first there, picking up a first down. Now it's first and 10, as you said, in the red zone. on this drive so far. It's first and ten. They'll keep it on the ground. Williams. He finds some way to turn this into positive yardage as he struggles forward for a pickup of about two. Final minute now of the third quarter. On second down now. It's Williams. And he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. Kyron Williams with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Dolphins have even the ball game with a chance to take the lead here in the final minute of this third quarter. to go for two. They'll try and throw for it. And that is caught for the two points. Could have been up one with a point after, but they go for two. And it worked. It almost seems like they're trying to set an identity, doesn't it? We're going to be one of those teams that every time we get a chance to put extra points on the board, we will. Because really, it's minimal in difference, right? Whether you have one or two, the field goal can still get you. After the touchdown, here's Groupie to kick this one away. Sutton now to return. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Cowboys offense now, they head out for their first possession of the second half. And Charles, it feels like we're set up for a good second half here. Came out of the locker room, one score game. Now the lead has already changed hands. Well, this offense, they've got an opportunity right now to take that lead right back. Yeah, and it feels like you're going back and forth almost a little bit like a tennis match, right? And we're just, you know, our heads just keep moving. Which side has it? Which side's going to score? How are they going to go out doing it? A little bit of a challenge for each side trying to match each other. And he'll manage to pick up about four. It's second down. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Now a deep ball there on second down, but it'll wind up incomplete. That's some good closing speed there defensively because that looked open for a minute. That's great work with the ball in the air. Never gave up. Converged on his man and broke the play up. Work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Cowboys first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. You are watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. Back now in Miami. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. It's been a good one so far, just a two-point game here as we get set for quarter number four. Steps away to his left. He'll get just a yard on the scramble at second down. Well, it certainly appears to me that the defensive guys are starting to look a little bit tired while he still has some fresh legs. Not the biggest game we've seen on a scramble, but still, some positive yardage on a play that initially looked like a sure win for the defense. 
From the gun, Vic. Over the middle, Sean's got it complete. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and we watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know, this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there. Not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And he's out of bounds as he gets this down to the 45. Here's second down and three. 19, Tiger, 19, Tiger. To throw, Vic. Oh, he forces one there. It's a potential dagger as it's intercepted. Oh, timing is everything on a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. Miami set to take over. Another important fourth quarter series coming up. That last INT helping to maintain their slim advantage. On first down, it's Williams. And that winds up a decent run, and it also takes us to the two-minute warning. Two minutes remain, and that's our score differential as well. Two points here in the fourth quarter. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. They've got a second down now as they search for a way to get this one to the finish line. He's going to get it again. Just looking to get forward and protect the ball. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. And not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. Now a give up the middle to Williams. And a nice job to break free of one tackle, but it slowed his momentum somewhat, and he's taken down right after. Now a second and six. Throwing here, Marino. And his throw is incomplete. That was well played, but that was also an example of a corner who understands his coverage, realized he had support behind him, and could be a little more aggressive in the shorter zone, and did exactly that, knocking that pass away. On third down, here's Williams. And they're going to get him down shy of the first at about the 13-yard line. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. They run. It's Williams. And trying to push his way forward, but I think he's going to be short. And he is short. He needed two. He only got one. And the Cowboys' defense is going to get him the football back. So that's a decision that could loom pretty large here. They go for it on fourth down, but come up empty. But I actually like the call, and the reason? It shows me a head coach has faith in his team overall. First on the offensive side, thinking they can pick it up, but also knowing that he has faith in his defense that if they don't, they'll go out there and stop him. I like the confidence he showed. Vic. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Here comes second down. Now Michael Vic. That's going to sabotage their comeback plans. It is intercepted. And his guys are going to take over at the 39-yard line. When you talk about making winning plays, that is a winning play at this stage of the game to come up with that interception, huge. I like how you identified that because most people think winning plays are the offense trying to get it done. In this case, nursing a lead, they found a way to make a play on that side of the ball and maybe finish things off. Out comes the Miami offensive unit now. They get set to take over. And with the defense out of timeouts, powerless to stop the clock, this should just be a couple of kneel downs. 
They got to have two hands on the football here as they run on first down. Yeah, he did not want to go down there as he carries tacklers for a solid gain of nine. Another yard would probably put this thing in the books. It's second and one. Again, it's Williams. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. I guess the simple question, why not just take a knee there? I don't understand either why you would take any sort of a chance. We've seen it happen in the game of football. Doesn't matter whether you watch high school, college, or the NFL. Some people get a little greedy, try to get that extra running play in, and it can backfire on them. And the clock will now stop as a timeout is called with five seconds left. So now one of the biggest kicks of the night is forthcoming. This to at least make it a five-point cushion. Oh, this ball hangs out to the right. It's no good. And that will keep this a two-point game. Wow, that qualifies as a bad miss because anything inside of 40 should be automatic. That's a big mistake right there. shot for Michael Vick. He's going to let it fly. And it's incomplete. So their final drive comes up empty. And with that, the ball game is over. A fun, close ball game comes to an end. On that last play, Charles, they were on the wrong side of midfield. They needed something near a miracle, and they couldn't get it done. Yeah, the effort... That was good. Very good, in fact. They were just a little too far out to get a decent look at the end zone for that last opportunity. Couldn't get it done, but a nice game overall. So that'll do it from here for Charles Davis and the rest of our crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching Madden Ultimate Team on EA Sports. For more, check us out at easports.com slash Madden. The Dolphins are winners here as we say so long from South Florida.